Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Soul Light Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten and I have another Trump reading for you today. This reading is based on some questions sent to me by Melody Clarita Frazier, um, aka Leon the Lion King. <laughs> How you doing, Mel Melody? Uh, thank you so much for your questions. I, um, you actually showed up in my uh, card reading this morning. I always draw some cards to see how the day is going to go, and I did get a Leo. Um, first card out was a Leo, so I decided to go ahead with your questions because I think they're good. Um, I'm breaking it up, though, into a part one and a part two reading. Uh, but before I get started with this reading, I just want to thank everyone who has donated to Soleil Hypnotherapy. If you haven't received a thank you email, it's because your PayPal email address bounced back and um, I wasn't able to contact you. But I want to thank everyone who has, who has contributed and um, donated to uh, Soul Light Hypnotherapy. It's much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, and um, please hit the like button and please uh, make sure to co comment if there are um, positive and constructive. Please make sure to leave your comments and um, share my videos. Help me grow my channel. Uh, I've been doing these Trump readings since Inauguration Day and if you take a look at uh, at the end of this video you can go back and, and take a look at the readings and see they've been pretty accurate and so I'd like to increase my my following and um, so please help me to spread the word. Um, Spirit wants me to share messages about uh, this president, so um, that's what I'm going to continue to do. So let's begin. Um, the questions that Melody proposed to me are as follows. She wanted to know, on a collective level, how and when Trump will leave office, and how will the collective respond when he leaves office, and um, are there any omens or signs that could preclude the uh, the arrival of his imminent departure? <laughs> so um, today I'm going to do the how and when will Trump leave office, and how will the collective respond when he does leave? Now I've 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 already kind of answered given my answer to how he's going to leave in previous readings and I don't like to repeat myself or to ask the cards the same question over and over again but since nothing is set in stone I decided to go ahead and um, re-ask and I did kind of get the same same answers so um, that being said let's call the corner shall we and get started all right first card out we have, and my spread is just kind of organic, guys, and I'm just going with it. So the first card out, we got the uh, the Temperance card. I'm using the 12 Chairs Tarot and the La Vera Sibylla and Sibylla in Divina, also the Modern Spellcasters deck in this reading. So how will Trump leave office, and uh, how will the collective respond when he leaves? So Temperance card... Just looking at the card intuitively, uh, I see the clock ticking in the background. And I see the angels on the wall, and I see someone who's very nervous. And they're chewing their nails, um, waiting for something to happen. Waiting for the inevitable, right? Time. Waiting for the inevitable time. When, all, when it all goes down. And as a collective, Trump is doing that, and we are all doing that. And everybody, you know, involved in um, his shenanigans are doing that, right? So, just looking at the cards, I'm noticing the clock and I'm noticing the angels on the wall. And it, it is making me think of that Bible passage from Matthew 24, 27. And it goes as follows. But concerning the day and the hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. Mm, the Father only. Now there's something in that. 
you know. But based on the Bible, that's saying that we're not really supposed to know the time. Only God knows the time. Only the Creator knows when this is supposed to end. Uh, so we're going to have to employ the energy of temperance and be patient and wait and know that the time is coming. Soon the time will come. But we're all waiting in the meantime with bated breath. Now back to that Bible passage. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. So, Trump may decide on his own. He may one day just decide that he can't do this anymore. That's a possibility. Okay? But back to, to the reading. Trump is, is waiting and he's very, very nervous. The moon next to him tells me that he's, he's fearful and he's disturbed emotionally, mentally. <laughs> he's afraid that his secret, the moon always represents secrets, his secret, and his secret, maybe involving a child, will come out. And he's tormented. This means tormentation. He's tormented that this secret and some other secrets are going to come out. But once again, this clarifier... The tarot is the main part of the question, and the Sibyllas are the clarifiers, okay? So, this clarifies the temperance card. We've got the, uh, the waiting card. Again, we're waiting. So, um, the clarifier says, again, just like temperance does, that patience is needed, and we're just going to have to wait for things to unfold, the time and the hour will not be revealed to us. It's almost ordained, heavenly ordained. It's not going to be revealed to us. And we just have to wait for things to unfold. As a collective, including our, ourselves and including Trump, we're all longing and waiting to return to a past time when things were easier and far less troubling to our mind and spirit. So we're all wanting um, to get to a more peaceful place. Now the moon, the moon talks about a lack of clarity. So I feel like, again, to reiterate, we're, we're not going to get a clear answer to that when question. It's coming. And the how question could change. Because things can happen in variable ways based on decisions, decisions and choices. Decisions and choices, which is man's co-creative power, can change scenarios and decisions and choices have yet to be made in this regard they're still waiting to be made they're still pending or they're still they're still being considered right because we all have free will grace has given us that um, nothing has is set in stone and is malleable based on those decisions and choices. So the picture is not crystal clear, guys. We can only do our best to predict. It's not going to be crystal clear, and it could change. It could change. The soldier here clarifies the moon. This is actually, uh, yeah, the soldier. 
excuse me, um, my mouth is a little dry and I'm going to take a drink. Hold on. Sorry about that. So the soldier says, is telling me, number one, that justice will be carried out at the appropriate time. And it also says that unforeseen events are about to happen soon. Hmm. Interesting. So I got a clarifier for that question. What are these unforeseen events that might what what will in, what will in, be involved in these unforeseen events? Spirit, can you tell us? And I got um actually I got disgrazia when I asked that question. Hmm. Wow. That's the worst card in Sibylla deck. It's actually worse when it's like this. So it's the second worst card when it's upright. This card means that there's going to be some critical event upcoming. It's going to happen soon. And it's, 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 it's ordained, it's destiny, and it's uncontrollable. Um, meaning we can get out of it now. We're on that path right? Uh, as a collective, we are all responsible for this being on our path. We've brought it to us through our actions and decisions. Um, but now that it's, it's, it's in the, now that it's, um, I guess enough has happened to where this is an, an inevitable um, moment in time that's coming to us very soon. This card says that we have failed to correct the past, so the universe is going to come in and correct it for us, kind of like the tower would if this were a tarot, tarot card. This would be the equivalent of the tower, but it's not read exactly the same as the tower. Still, we will be forced to deal with a critical event because we have not corrected um, what needed to be corrected and now it's being forced upon us. And I, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like that's the racial problem in America. That people have wanted to sweep under the rug and not really deal with. But it's the real core problem. Uh, wh what is really truly keeping America from being great is the racial inequality. And that's just my intuitive feeling on it. Um... But also the corruption and the greed and uh, you know this stuff isn't Trump didn't create all this corruption. This corruption's been going on for a long time. He just brought it in front to our eyes to where we're forced to deal with it and to see it. And it's time it's time to handle it. It's time to correct this. But let me get off my soapbox and get back to the reading. This card can indicate a violence, death, and war. And it's also telling me, like the tarot and uh, the tarot tower card would would um, could indicate a revelation. Ooh, revelation. Because I think you guys have probably figured out that. Um, if there wasn't any Christ, I think we're dealing with him right now, in my opinion. So, um, as Revelation, the Book of Revelation, alludes to. Uh, but there's a revelation here, and a secret is going to come out. Bam, bam. It's going to blow up in Trump's face. This secret. The one he was most afraid of. And others. Others will come out as well. Uh, tax evasion. Embezzlement. Bankruptcies. Fraud. Money laundering. All of his dealings are going to come out. This card as a collective says 
He's in danger and we're in danger. Why? Because Trump very much wants to keep a lid on these secrets from coming out. So he may start a war. He may drop a bomb to create a fog to cover up his actions or to distract us from, from what he's done. Hmm. If I were to read this card as a health card, it could refer to strokes or heart attacks. I feel a need to say that. There's a possibility he could have a stroke or a heart attack. Um, I don't feel that too strongly, but Spirit is leading me to say it. It's one of the meanings of the cards, and so I'm going to put it out there. But it also talks about death by fire and by burning, so it makes me think of an explosion or a bomb. Now, next to the military card, or the soldier card, this can represent that our military, that Trump will send our military to drop some bomb. Um, there's a lot of possibilities here, guys, and it's murky. With the moon here, Literally, when the moon is in the, in the reading, it's not clear. So I, I can only give you possibilities, scenarios, that different scenarios that could come up. They are all possibilities, okay? So this could be Trump sending our military to drop a bomb somewhere. Could be on North Korea. This little guy here in uniform makes me think of Kim Jong-un. Oh, Jesus. could also be representing um, a military man like a general or even the just justice a, a lawman who's standing between uh, Trump and his crazy um, Trump and dropping a bomb or starting a war this man could prevent that okay now this one another meaning for disgrazia. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Another meaning for this could be secret service agent. So this man could be a general. Could also be a younger man because when I clarify, I clarified this 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 uh, this soldier, uh, and I got domestico the footman. Now they're both young men, they both, meanings of these cards, they're both young men in uniform. So Trump's generals are older. So I'm not sure if it's referring to one of his generals or if it's referring to, uh, could be Jared or even his son, but most likely Jared or some other young man in a position to advise him, right? Or his general any of these possibilities okay I'm sorry I can't be more specific but it does tell me that this person is ingratiated is in service to Trump but he he actually is a secret service agent he actually is on our side he could have flipped or he's just there to uh, protect us right so that's good to know there's someone someone in his ear who can hopefully reason with him and and uh and balance him out with his temperance card and keep him from pressing a button when 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 his shit comes out when his secrets come out and he goes uh that shit crazy. I don't want to scare you guys. But this is the reading I'm getting. Okay? I just got to tell you what I'm getting. So, like I said before, he's on Trump's team. He's in service to Trump, but I actually but he he, he actually may be a secret service agent. Let's hope. Let's hope.
The next card out we have is the uh, Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles in this deck always makes me think of a barred door. And then someone mentioned in one of my last readings that this could it look to them like the uh, the uh, DVD disc or, or CD recording that Avenatti was teasing Trump with, like you know you don't want me to re you don't want this to come out, Trump. So and then you guys all know that Pentacles to me can is means evidence always means evidence. Uh, any kind of recorded evidence, right? So, based on that, maybe uh, maybe the evidence that Avenatti has or the recordings that Cohen kept could be one of the things that gets revealed that brings out the secret secrets that Trump is most afraid of. I'm also hearing the word witnesses, witnesses. Um, so could be witnesses come out as well. Um, but to me, um, I'm still seeing that bar door, which could mean uh, security, clearance. And as I stare at it, I'm looking at this blonde woman and this dark-haired man. So someone, it could be Trump's family, it could be Trump himself, it could be Ivanka and Jared. It could be Jared and his, uh, uh, Trump Jr. and his wife. Did she already leave him or is she still living with him? Someone is barred access could be the whole family. They're forced to leave. The question is, when, how and when will Trump be, will leave office? So he's barred from office. He's, he's blocked. He's blocked when his secrets come out. Hmm. Is that what this is saying? He's, in, he's forced into exile. Forced to leave. Hmm. Okay. What else am I getting from this card? You know, I just keep looking at this blonde woman. Um... So I'm thinking Ivanka, maybe something about Ivanka and Jared. So I got a clarifier for that, and the clarifier is the inconsistency reversed. This card means that someone is unreliable, and that could be referring to Trump, it could be referring to uh, whoever these people are. Someone is unreliable, and thus they are barred at, from access to the White House. Um, it could also refer to loss of money, not having money, um, losing money, but unreliable. So I, I got another uh, clarifier, and I got the Doctore and the Lover Reverse. Both fell out, right, for... They're clarifying inconsistency. So, huh. The lover reverse means betrayal and plotting. So again, this could be Ivanka and Jared. Could be working against Trump, right? Secret Service agent. Someone who's like a double agent or who's could be flipped and working for the other side. Hmm. Ivanka and Jared could be um, betraying Trump. I've said this in a previous reading. I said it a couple times.
They're doing this for the purpose of their own survival. This is a card about survival. Me, uh, uh, trying to uh, eke out some sur some survival. They don't have they don't have uh, much going for them. They don't have any choices. Doctore always means to me some sort of manipulation. Someone has control over someone else. See, his hand is on their hand. And when Doctori is upright, he can he can represent justice, a lawman, as well as a doctor, but we'll see him here as justice. So they could be um, basically forced into um, having no other choice but to betray their father, betray her father, betray her, the father-in-law. Could be Jared as well. Um, I'm sorry. I always mix Jared and Donald Trump Jr. They're interchangeable. So this justice man is controlling their actions. Hmm. Someone is lying to someone. He can help them get out of a sticky situation, so they have to take the medicine that he tells them to take. They has to they have to do what he tells them to do. This card is also telling me that Trump's mental and physical health temperance is definitely going to be some kind of a factor in how he leaves office or why he leaves office. Now this could just be an excuse, um, an excuse that he, the job has become too much for him. There might be a health scare, uh, uh, heart attack scares due to stress. Um, but all of this I feel is just an excuse to not deal with um, the real truth of why he's he, he will be forced out. Uh, so I've said it before and I'll say it again. I feel Trump will either resign because he's, you know, he has no other choice but to, and to save face, he'd rather resign than get impeached or he'd rather resign than, than be um, pulled out by the police. Uh, Either that or he'll leave in a stretcher with the excuse that he's, um, I don't feel like it, it's because a general will take him out and say that he's mentally unfit. I wish, but I've asked that question before and I don't think that they're going to in, invoke the 25th Amendment. Uh, I think it would be um, an excuse that is said that he can't continue in the office because of his, because of health reasons, but we'll all know what it really means, right? As an outcome, we have the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Some Money card, which is also clarified by the Dilaranti or the Lunatics card, which I call it. So Nine of Pentacles is a card of independence. Um, or you could say isolation. So I feel like Trump will end up being isolated but still behind comfortable walls but alone. So as I clarify it with the some money card, again this says he will be isolated and alone. So I think his family is going to abandon him or betray him or both. And the Some Money card says that he'll have no other options. They'll have no other options. But Trump will have no other options but to leave. He may be conflicted about that. 
he would rather remain, but he won't have a choice. The power over him will be too strong. With Dilarante, or the lunatics, I feel like his base, the people who are swayed by his um, ideologies, who are equally as deluded as he is, will rally and riot and protest when he leaves, when he's forced to leave. They will still support him, I believe his card is saying. So I think he will have a following still after he's out of office. But this is a card that is very dangerous. It says there could be violence and chaos in the streets in our country when this all goes down. And it also says crazy, 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 insane. The psychopath card came out. Um, I feel like if they don't put Trump behind bars, that he will be, he will remain a danger and a menace to society and to our democracy, mainly because of his deluded followers and because Trump likes being a cult leader. So, how does he leave? He either is forced to leave and resign or he's, he's, he, he goes out on sick leave, right? That's what I think. Now, the second part of the question, how will the collective respond when he leaves? Well, I've already told you, I think his base will um, not be happy. I think they're going to riot and protest. So to further go into that, um, let me just move these up. We've got uh, the Five of Swords, which came out sideways. The Letterado, Five of Swords and Letterado, reversed. The Ten of Wands and the Consultant as a Clarifier, reversed. And the Nine of Wands and the uh, Despere, Despe Despe Despair card. <laughs> I want to learn Italian. One day I'm going to learn it. It's a beautiful sounding language. Five of Swords. Five of Swords has a lot of meaning for me. I tend to meet and greet a lot of Five of Sword energies in my life. Or have. Let's hope that is over now. But when the Five of Swords comes up for me, it's usually when someone from my past has crawled out from under their rock and they want to re-engage with me. Um, but really, they just want to one-up me or get some kind of revenge for some sort of past offense they feel they suffered by my hand. Okay? <laughs> Let's not get too personal here. I'm a Scorpio, and when I speak the truth, it hurts. Anyway, Five of Swords is someone who may be seeking revenge. Five of Swords is someone who you can't really trust. They shit on you in the past and they're most likely going to shit on you again. The question is, will you get reinvolved? Will you re-engage? So, I clarified Five of Swords. And remember, the question here is, how will the collective respond when Trump leaves? Letterado Reverse is saying, uh, a person or here people will refer to uh, masses of people, right? This is Trump's followers. They follow where he leads. Um, they're not to be trusted. This card says they're not to be trusted. I just told you this card means someone coming out from under their rock is not to be trusted. Um, so, referring to the collective overall, uh, no one's going to really trust anyone. And someone is going to be planning, both this card and this card mean revenge. This one means someone is planning, calculating, elaborate revenge when this shit goes down. So I think the heads of his base 
uh, could be planning some kind of elaborate revenge, or this could be referring to Trump himself, because I don't see him, I see him isolated in some kind of seclusion, but I don't see him behind bars. So he still has some kind of out, uh, some sort of, I uh, can't think of the word, I don't want to say output, but he, he still has some sort of ability to connect to his followers. Huh. Or this could be referring to a new person uh, out of his base who rises up. And overall, they want to plan some kind of revenge. This card refers to as an impasse or refusal to acknowledge uh, justice, the justice that's, that was reckoned with this Five of Swords. I don't think they're going to accept the verdict that comes down, accept the accept the fact that you know he's no longer the president. And uh, they're going to try to create more distrust in our justice institutions. I feel like this could be, this is the card of a psychopath. Or it could, could be Trump, or it could be some new leader that will rise up out of his base that will create friction, um, and more conspiracy theories, deep state theories. Um, they're going to continue to fight this outcome. And if it's Trump, he could still be leading this dark party of people behind the scenes, and their and his wicked ideology uh, is still very much in sway. So if they don't put Trump behind bars, he could actually end up being more dangerous now, uh, after the fact, than he is right now. Or this new leader who rises up could be even crazier than Trump was, or is. This card further tells me that the Republicans that back Trump will realize or even acknowledge that they chose the wrong path, but it's going to be too late. People will not trust them anymore, and they're going to have to seek out new careers. With the Ten of Wands here and the uh, Consultant reversed to co clarify, this tells me that Trump's supporters, you know, white lower class, farmers, blue collar workers, the white people who feel like uh, other races have stolen their jobs, um, they're still going to support him. They're going to remain blind. See, they can't see. They're going to still, they're still supporting all of this, these, uh, ideologies, all their reasons for having supported him in the first place, they're still holding on to that. And it's blinding them to the truth. They will deliberately cover their eyes. They just don't want to see the truth. This is clarified by the consultant reverse, which it also says they will not listen to the truth. They will refuse to see or hear it. And they will not give up hope or the illusion that Trump painted for them and their belief in Trump will continue even though this is someone who doesn't support you this is someone who who is not in your corner they will not they're going to fail to see that they, do, they refuse to see it nine of wands says it's a card of preparation it says that we we, overall, those who aren't Trump supporters, we're going to have to get prepared for this because uh, the lunatics are coming. The lunatics are coming. The crazies aren't happy. And they could cause civil unrest in the streets. They could be stirred up by Trump or some new leader to go out and cause chaos. This is a card of um, 
violence, violence, intimidation, threats, um, domestic terrorism, and attacks because of people who can't accept the truth and don't want to accept the truth. And that's the result, and that's what we need to get prepared for when the ugly comes out and Trump is forced to leave. I asked again, um, I used the, my other Sibylla cards from the Egyptian tarot, which are just, just Sibyllas, and I got, I just wanted to confirm the reading, and I got the, uh, the dog card, excuse me, I got the dog card reversed, and the, um, the stanza card reversed. The dog card talks about disloyalty, treachery, could be from family, and I mentioned that already, Jared and Ivanka, or Trump Jr., uh, Eric, I mean, they're all married to blondes, right? Could be any of them. They're going to betray Trump um, and his deepest secrets to save their own skins. Also, Stanza Reverse talks about secrets coming out, intimate secrets, and... Um, skeletons in, in their closet coming out. Shocking secrets. I told you the shocking secret that he's been wanting to prevent is going to come out. This clarifies that the clarifiers. Wow. So the final uh, cards I have are um, advice cards. I pulled these cards from the uh, the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed And I got two cards, right? The first card is actually to, I feel, it's talking to Trump's base. And then the second card is talking to the rest of us, changing the wind. So we got why and a change of the wind. This is our advice about how to deal with this when all of this happens, right? So why is, um, let me just open that to the page. Hold on. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, I'm just going to give you the gist. I feel the why is for the, uh, the Trump supporters. They're not able to handle the truth. And um, their advice is to do soul searching, deep soul searching. And, and and discover why it is they chose to back this person or why they choose to believe what they believe and why they can't accept that this man was treacherous to America and to our democracy. They are not going to believe that. Their faith in him will continue to be strong. And they're not going to back down from their choices. Their, their, their energy is one of wanting to one-up and get revenge. And it's to, the card is saying that they need to do some deep soul searching. And only through that will they find the happiness that they're seeking. Now for us as a collective, we've got the changes in the wind. Um, our protective message is We we don't have we 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 have to know that we're not going to have any control over uh, we really don't have any control over these people, their thought processes, what motivates them or uh, basically it's saying you can't rationalize with the irrational. This card is telling us do not engage. So when the five of swords is reversed, and I told you I was going to read it both ways. When the Five of Swords is reversed, it says, you know, you give up the fight. You realize it's futile. To engage with this energy is futile. And that's what this card is saying. You don't fight with a drunk. Okay? You don't fight with a drunk. We're not supposed to fight them. That's what the universe wants to tell us, what God wants to tell us. To, uh, to, to do our best to not engage with them. Protect ourselves, but but don't um, don't get in the trenches with them. Don't get dirty with them, because they're going to get dirty. 
and the storm eventually, we have to prepare for the storm, but eventually the storm will blow away and things will calm down and to know that God is on our side. So get ready guys, it's, it's not going to be easy transition when he leaves. I will read part two of this reading, um, hopefully I will get to it tomorrow, which is, um, since, since God or Spirit will not reveal to us the time, timing of these events, maybe we can get some inkling of when to expect it. So we'll do that reading tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. And thank you so much, Melody, for the suggestion. And uh, if you'd like to donate to Soul Light Hypnotherapy, there's a donate button on the home page. And please make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Share my videos with your friends. Help me grow this channel. And thank you so much for tuning in. Blessings to you all. God bless.